Oh, wait. So hey, you guys. David here, Valley and Beyond. So happy, happy, happy um, Valentine's Day. And, and uh, because, uh, you know, I've got this whole thing uh, about love. I think that this is the love day. This is the love day. Mm -hmm. This is the love day. And Venus Ray is here to visit. And his lovely partner, are you his partner? A lovely partner, Chris, have come to visit us today. And I'm excited that they're here. Because I've known Chris for actually, I'm going to say. Decade. Has it been that long? Wow. Mm -hmm. for, for, she said like 10 years, which means that, well, I guess it would have been around uh, Hank and, yeah, yeah. So for 10 years and watched all kinds of really cool things happen in her life. And then I'm not sure how they met each other, but it's, I mean, it's pretty amazing. And, and uh, he's, the, we're going to talk about what they do. And, and uh, um, I know a little bit that, that, that they, they prepare amazing food. And, and, uh, and uh, cause they fed a, a crew of friends of mine the other night in an event that I almost made it to. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, so I got called into my work. And, and uh, um, so I had to go. And, and I had uh, triage, Tri I had triage work to do. Sometimes I do emergency room work. Mm -hmm. um, that's a whole other story. And, and anyway, so you guys, um, uh, you, you're in the f like the fermenting business. You're in the food business. You, you, you do catering business. You, you're in the consciousness. You, you know, we got we're in my, my in my office, and and, the, and uh, uh, Venus is kind of looking at my bookshelf, and and they're both really conversing on the Course in Miracles, and and, uh, and then we got then we got talking about the book that I'm reading, and. Uh, um, I was pretty blown away that that uh, Venus said he was he was reading this at his men's group, and, and so we have a lot in common, in, in my opinion, don't we? I think so. Yeah. Yes, it seems that way. <laughs> yeah. Probably a lot more than we're not even aware of. Yeah. So we have a, you know a vision I think w that's similar, which is lifting the com the consciousness of the planet. Mm -hmm. Does that fit? Yes, definitely. Yes. And and. Uh, you know, spreading love and and un, and awareness and consciousness and and peace everywhere that we go, and, and uh, living, if possible, judgment free. Oh. So we're not idealists, honest. Anyway, so tell us about you. You, you're thirty. You're, um, what's your vision? What's your passion? What do you do? Tell us. Well, I mean, I suppose right now um, I'm working, for starters, I'm working with Hank. Yeah. So I'm his main caregiver. The prankster. Yes. Hank Hankster the prankster. That's right. <laughs> yes, and we've been working, I guess, for a year together now. Yeah, I love so, Hank. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's been very, very rewarding. Yeah. And there's a lot of, a lot of learning as well that I've had to do. Mm -hmm. So it's been it's been very very beautiful. Hank's a teacher. Yes, yes, <laughs> in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Chris has been helping me a lot with Hank as well. Is that how you guys met? Um, no, we met just through different. Actually, through my business partner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was friends with his business partner. Yeah, yes. yeah Mateus. Ma Mateus, I had two business partners. Yes. Initially, I started Mountain Mystics uh, with Mateus about three years ago. So Mountain Mystics is your company. Yes. And it, and and you you make kombucha and tell us what the, just l kind of give us a quick list of the products. I know I want to see them in a bit, but uh, what products is Mountain Mystics? So we initially started with the jingle sauce mm -hmm. and the kombucha, mm -hmm. and that's how we started exploring that business. And mm -hmm. we get, went on to different cosmetics and different uh, endeavors for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, right now we're focusing uh, on the pesto as well. Uh, and then we have pesto, uh, like for pesto pasta. Yep. Wow. Yeah. So it's a gluten-free, vegan, and nut-free pesto. Yes. And everything we do is all made with organic ingredients. Mm -hmm. And so um, w recently we had our friend Teresa join the business, mm -hmm. and along with her, we're now making uh, cashew cheese. Mm -hmm. We're making uh, kefir, mm -hmm. kvass, mm -hmm. and different types of sauerkrauts and mm -hmm. kimchi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Only w water kefir. Water kefir, no, that's so right. So everything is vegan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's two types, right? You have the milk kefir, yeah. 
and then you have the water kefir, and mm -hmm. that's the one that mm -hmm. we're using. Mm -hmm. And uh, kefir has lots of um, um, uh, good, good, yeah, probiotics. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. even the water one. That's right. In fact, all of our products are full of probiotic bacteria. Nice. Yeah, so they're fermented products. They, yes. They're they're just they have so many different strains of probiotics. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the reason why we we use them is because we really really believe in the power of, of fermented foods and and probiotics and yeah. Well, for food gut in health. general, exactly. Mm -hmm. And for all health, you know, the hut, the the gut, the stomach, mm -hmm. you know, your intestines, all of this, it's the second brain. Yes. Yes, the gut gray matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I know. <laughs> I mean, um, I've just uh, finished, actually I'm still reading it, I'm back the second time through, a book called, uh, um, oh, well it's written by David Asprey. And David is the uh, the um, Bulletproof Coffee guy, mm. and, and uh, he is so about, you know, um, brain health and, and, but, and the connection uh, with our diet to brain health. and, and um, so I, I'll bet you you have some tips on that. But I mean, I suppose just I introduce a lot of probiotics into my diet, and yes. I really promote yeah. that. Well, he talks about the mitochondria, mm -hmm. and the mitochondria, the energy, the, your, your ATP. Is it the, it, do we need ATP to move to to get the mitochondria moving, or is it mitochondria that creates ATP? Oh, I'm not really sure in the okay. science on that. Anyway, no, I'd have to probably read that book as well. It's amazing. Yeah, Dude. what's it called? Um, oh, Headstrong? yes, Headstrong. thank you. That's yeah, the title. <coughs> it is, and he's like this total uh geek uh, on on brain stuff, you know, because he he when he was like your age or a little younger, he was like 300 pounds and and living in a fog, mm. you know. Have you ever had brain fog? Oh, yes, and and uh, so he talks about brain fog and how how he. Uh, started really studying what was going on with his brain and why he was in this fog all the time. And, and uh, um, so he does the MCT oil and, and uh, um, you know, and his, his some, some amazing products around allowing our, our brain to really uh, function. Um, so right now at 30, he says your brain should be functioning at its peak. Wow. And then from now, unless you have, unless you have, you're, you're dealing with, uh, uh, you know, sometimes um, f bad food or, or, you know, if you've got some, or you're living somewhere where there's uh, um, fungus, you know, that, that are causing, there's pro there are some things that could be causing it not to be at its peak. But, but he said from 30 on, by the time we're 70, uh, we're functioning at about 50% uh, less. It really Jeez. goes down. And of course, the world calls that normal, right? Mm -hmm. Old age. Yeah. Right. But he's saying we don't have to do that. No. It, it, we, with proper diet and exercise and, and cold showers, um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we're all into cold showers, aren't we? Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> and you know you can keep it really amazing, mm -hmm. you know, and and it's it's a big thing for me because I'm closer to seventy than you are, and and, uh, and anyway. So I think healthy eating is, is so important. Mm -hmm. That's obviously so do you. Yes, definitely. So do you sell your products in, in any stores? We're not selling them in, in a lot of stores right now. We mm -hmm. only have them in Fergie's mm -hmm. in Canmore. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are you know, trying to get into different stores. Mm -hmm. We're mostly doing uh, farmer's markets right now. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Do you do the farmer's market like over on Blackfoot? No, we're not doing that one just yet. Mm -hmm. um, they're they're going through the transitions there. Are they? Uh, yeah, but we might be going back to the Sea Space Market. Um, Teresa was there under her previous uh, business, Fabulous Ferments. So that's on Saturdays. And we're going to be doing, um, I guess, the, the Hillhurst, Sunnyside Market. Yeah, yeah. We've been there every Wednesday. Yeah. And then we're doing, this summer, we're going to do the Canmore Market and the Banff Market, the Cochrane Market. And then here in Calgary, does Hank come with you sometimes? Sometimes he does, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. We were, uh, last summer we were at East Village, mm -hmm. and he loved coming oh. on Fridays. So East Village, mm -hmm. that's where you that's met where De Deanna. Yeah. Yes. Deanne. Yeah. Deanne. And he ends up storm together. Yeah. And, and uh, this we interviewed this lady the other day. Oh. Yeah. And, yeah, and Matt Lane. And, yeah, and when, uh, do you mm -hmm. remember her? Yeah. And, and, and Chris came in, and they were like, oh my God, look. 
And actually, Chris came to the door, and both Deanna and I went, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, and then you looked at each other like, why do you know? <laughs> <laughs> if we, if we both knew Chris from somewhere else, right? And Wasn't uh, like Hank there as well that time? Or yeah, yeah. No? no, no. Yeah. no? But uh, oh. th she, she knows Hank. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She knows Hank. Yeah. For those of you that don't know. He's a know, big fan of her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know, Hank is a friend of ours. And Hank has Down syndrome. And he is amazing. And uh, his team just won a gold medal in floor hockey, floor winter hockey. Olympics. Yeah, in the yep. winter, winter Olympics. They're going floor to nationals hockey. next time. And they're going to nationals. And mm -hmm. Hank's like amazing. And, and uh, he's twenty-five. Yes. Yeah. I know. And, and uh, Hank's mom, June, is amazing. And, mm -hmm. and uh, Craig is amazing. They're mm -hmm. all some, yeah, it's an amazing bunch. So we just love them, and, and that's we talk mm -hmm. about them like we're here. And mm -hmm. so just so you guys get an idea about who Hank is. June and Craig are Hank's parents. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. June and Craig. Craig and I go back. We do uh, some men's stuff together at the Alex. Craig and I do on Tuesday nights, which is really cool. <coughs> and, and that's an aside, totally. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us more about what else are you guys up to? Um, do you want to see the Yeah, things? well, yeah. Okay. This is the flagship, I guess. Yeah, so, so this is the uh, kombucha here. This one is made strictly with pink tea. So we're working with uh, Priscilla from Unity. Mm -hmm. And she has a pink tea, and it comes from the same plant as um, green tea and black tea, but it steeps pink. So we're this, this, this kombucha is just the pink tea flavor. So, so is it Indian? Uh, no, it's actually from Sri Lanka. It's ah. uh, Ceylon, single estate. Nice. Mm -hmm. Organic. Yeah, and it's all organic. So, and then we have several can different. We, can we recycle the bottles? Yes, nice. We can the bottles reuse can be them if you get them back to us. Yeah, mm -hmm. bring them back to you guys, and you'll reuse them. them. Nice, them. yeah, good. And then uh, we have the jingle sauce. This is what helped start the company. Yeah. So this was kind of a um, a weird collaboration that was very synchronistic between Mateus and I. Mm -hmm. So when I first came to Calgary, I actually met uh, a couple of people that, that hosted me for a while and mm -hmm. they are just absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. And they shared with me a recipe for a very, very similar dressing. Mm -hmm. And so then when I, I, I only eat uh, gluten-free vegan food. Mm -hmm. And so I avoid most uh, commercial dressings. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a couple of allergies and intolerances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you know they were able to make this for me mm. and then when i when thank i thank you met Kat. with mateus yes uh he was making a really really similar product mm -hmm. so we just started playing with the recipe and then this is what we came up with after a while this is the so, so this would be a, savory, a salad dressing. Mm -hmm. yummy sauce that you can put anything anywhere you would put mayo i'd say anywhere i would put a soy sauce you can put jingle sauce you can make really so you can mix it on rice Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. And and uh, and it has kombucha vinegar. Is in it, it addicting? Still. It's very addictive. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I just, I can't touch it because I have an addictive personality. Oh, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But this is good for and addictive it personality. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Because oh. it just makes all of your food like pop. <laughs> yeah. Healthy fats. Like Does it? Mm -hmm. The more oh. you put, the healthier it is. Healthy fats. Isn't it funny, eh? Um. So for me, before, um, um this last few years with, with Bulletproof, I didn't realize that there were healthy fats. I mean, we were conditioned to believe that all fats were, you know, kind of not good for us. And, and uh, so it's, you know, I think now when you say healthy fats, everybody says, oh yeah, okay, you know, I understand what that means. And, and uh, so this would be good for the brain. That's right. Yes, healthy fats are good for the brain. Mm -hmm. What else? So he we also has several other flavors of kombucha. Yes. Like based on the pink tea, but this, is only one of them. Yeah, I only brought one of them right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, about seven different flavors, and I'm mm -hmm. working on Jeez. new ones all the time. It's got stuff. That's right. It's got. Uh, it's got all the goodness at the bottom. Texture. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's probably best to just like the way that we like to do it is we just turn it upside down and swirl it to yes. reincorporate all the probiotics okay. into it. Because mm -hmm. it is live, so it's fizzy. Mm -hmm. Is it? And if you shake it really hard and then oh. open it right away, it's oh. yeah. kind of like oh. champagne. Oh, thank you for telling me. Don't open this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we want to celebrate. Yeah. 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 So this one's apple based. This one's yeah, apple based. Yeah, we use an organic apple juice. Mm -hmm. And then it's got ginger and turmeric. It's mm -hmm. got a little bit of ashwagandha and astragalus. 
and then it's got black pepper to help activate the, the turmeric. turmeric. Yeah. And then we add a little bit of uh, colloidal gold as well. So this one is, it's, I don't know. This one's rocking. Yeah, well, they're all pretty special. Yeah. They're all, yeah, they're all very, very different and mm -hmm. they're made with a different intention. Wow. And this one is, yeah, they're. I'm so glad you brought them in. Okay. Yeah, thank and so, you. and you have other flavors though of kombucha. Mm -hmm. Where do you make, like, like do you have a in-home place you make the kombucha? Commercial or? kitchen. Well, we were initially working in a commercial kitchen in Canmore, yes. which we still, uh, Mateus is the one that is doing that one. Mm -hmm. And then um, we recently started working here in Calgary on um, Create Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's that? It's in, it's like near Marta Loop area. Is it on 14th Street? Is that our friends? It's Yes, it's yeah. Katarina's place. Katarina's place, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, I know that kitchen. Yeah. And yeah, it's a small town. It <laughs> is, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. And uh, I remember when that was being developed and built, and, and I'm glad that, that you, you know, you're there. And it's a beautiful space. Is it? Oh, and it's, yeah. it's wonderful. There's so many businesses just able to do so much awesome stuff out of there. Because of that kitchen. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. and, well, so um, how it, does this have a shelf life? Um, well, it should be refrigerated. All of our mm -hmm. products should be refrigerated. Yes. Yeah, they'll last for a long time, but mm -hmm. it's always best because they're alive, mm -hmm. right? It's not like it's it's not being pasteurized like a yep. lot of products that are shelf stable. Yes. So these ones here, they're they're full of probiotic, and the probiotic continues to mm -hmm. you know be active in mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. and so it's best to use them up. Mm -hmm. within a short time frame, mm -hmm. depending on the product. But yeah, they'll last for a long time. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Um, to tell us a bit about maybe, um, I mean, I see that, that this is how you're making a difference in the practical sense. So do you, are you a meditator? Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, um, <sighs> meditation's been a very interesting journey for me. Do you actually sit? Um, I recently haven't been sitting as much, mm -hmm. so I I do different forms of active meditation. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, for a long time I was definitely sitting in the mornings and in the evenings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm I <coughs> I have this idea that that um, sitting in the morning, the, uh, being disciplined, you know, for even if it's ten minutes or twenty minutes every day. Uh, because our day, our, our life kind of comes in in twenty four hour packages, if you will. Mm. You know, or the you know the, the kind of you know we wake up in the morning, it's a new day, and then the next day is a new day, and and everything that happens in that day uh, can be um, somehow affected by how we start the day. I, th I think that that uh, having the discipline to to sit um, is uh, you know I, I don't know. I have to maybe find some way to substantiate that, but it makes sense because a lot of people, uh, and, and um, no offense, man, but I think a, a lot of people have have lost the discipline of sitting, and 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 I, I think in some ways are maybe kidding themselves in, in thinking that that they're active meditating, when they're 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 actually their mind is still, you know, buzzing, you know, when and the possibility with a sit is to is to drop past the mind, and 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 into um, that open space, that oneness, and and uh, um, so, you know, I've actually said it myself. I said, oh, when I'm on my motorcycle, you know, it's just like I'm, I've I've, you know, I'm in the zone. Well, the, the zone is different, you know, because I'm still there, mm -hmm. you know, and and uh, um, you know, and I'm still thinking, you know. And maybe when I when I meditate and I drop into that space, that sometimes I can almost drop into in a breath, you know, of uh, of, of past the mind. Uh, maybe I am still there thinking, but it doesn't seem that way. It seems that there's, it almost seems in some ways for in the in the area of meditation, there's almost more value to take that time, carve it out, and say, okay, I'm going to begin my day with this experience and and. Uh, Anyway, I'm so I, I'm not sure how to how to word that or how to to put it out there, but uh, but I think that I hear what you're saying a lot. Yeah, I, I, I kind of I used to meditate a lot, but now I'm active meditating. Well, what you know, I, I don't know. What does that look like? Do you tell me? How, how, you know, what does that feel like to you? And, and mm -hmm. it, uh, is it the same value uh, for you? Um, 
Well, first, I'd like to say that I completely agree. It is very, very, very different. Uh, when you are sitting, you're able to be at one with everything mm -hmm. in a way that it, it's, it's actually similar, like the example that you gave about uh, the motorcycle, but the zone is different than, than the cosmos. Right. Yeah. So what I like to do is for me it's all about connecting with nature mm -hmm. and the way that i do that is with tea mm -hmm. so every morning i create a different tea blend i have a wide array of uh, different herbs and uh, superfoods mm -hmm. so super herbs mushrooms adaptogens mm -hmm. i just like to blend all of them together mm -hmm. the depending on how i'm feeling and how i want to feel mm -hmm. and what i want to accomplish that day mm -hmm you know, uh, mentally, emotionally, physically. Mm -hmm. So based on all of that, I will put together uh, an herbal preparation and then I'll sit with that. And so I'll try to connect with each one of the plants that I've prepared. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is because each one of the plants is speaking to me mm -hmm. in its own language and it's trying to share something with me. Mm -hmm. and it's something that I feel like we've lost is the ability to connect to nature. Mm -hmm. So I believe that part of meditating mm -hmm. is to connect to ourselves mm -hmm. and we are a part of nature. If, yes, we are one. Exactly. Yes. And so we are one with ourselves, with each mm -hmm. other, mm -hmm. with the animals mm -hmm. and the plants mm -hmm. and everything that we share the planet mm -hmm. with. And we're so out of touch with that in our modern society. I get that. But, but, um, yes, I, I hear you. It's just that um, my mind, which is a tool, it, it, it's, my mind is, I don't see, I see my mind as a tool and, and has kind of taken over. And, and uh, um, you know, and, and, and it thinks it's the boss. And, and, and it, it actually thinks it's the boss to such an extent that it'll make up all kinds of bullshit stories to convince me that I don't need to access uh, infinite intelligence because it's afraid that if I access infinite intelligence, that um, it'll have a lesser position. Mm. And, and um, so it tells me, you know, that it's okay not to, to meditate, or it tells me it's okay not to be in prayer. Mm -hmm. or, uh, and and uh, because it's designed to look after me, you know, it's, it, and it's his job. And thank you, mind, you know, <laughs> Thank you. You're doing a nice job. Thank you. And but ultimately, though, um, because of the way my mind has been conditioned by the the views of my mother, let's say, or the views of my father, or, or of my of my community, um, um, it, it 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 it's limiting. Do, do you know what I mean? Definitely. It's I limiting, and and it only has this much vision. But when I drop in, when I when I drop in, um, the possibility is really is infinite, mm -hmm. and and uh, uh, and yeah. So that that's my case for actually sitting. Mm -hmm. Is and I, and I just imagine that you would get that, you know, that you do get that, and that um, and that. And, and you know it's sometimes hard to explain to the general public because they think they are their mind. D you know they think that 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 they are their mind, and and so um, mostly we've been conditioned that way. We, that, and what do you mean? There's something else. <laughs> well, you know we are part of something else, like the part of the plants. We are, you know, we are all one. And, and that something else is not something that we often talk about openly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I do fool myself into believing that all of my other practices, no matter what they are, will have the same effect, definitely, yeah. and they don't. No. And, you know, it's, it's interesting, you were talking so much about the brain, because I, I recently had a, a serious accident, well actually it's, all, it's been over a year ago now, but it really affected me on an emotional and on a physical level. You get a concussion. Mm -hmm. You shook. You shook it up. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was pretty serious. So I've I've done a lot of 
work to focus specifically on the brain mm -hmm. and meditation is something that I need to just like sit with <laughs> no or, pun intended or, yeah <laughs> <laughs> for a long time I yeah. feel like that would just well you love this book that I just told you about yeah uh, what was it again headstrong, headstrong. Yeah. <laughs> see why I need to to really go deep into it because I I have uh, my it seems like my memory isn't what it used to be hmm. and uh, um, and I, so this guy, he is on a trajectory to live to 180. He really is, and 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 uh, he's using like all kinds of hacks. He's a he's a uh, um, biohacker, and and, uh, and I think you'd love him. And if you've had a bit of a concussion, you know, I mean, it, it's a physical thing, but you, we can regrow mm -hmm. everything, all the connections, and and uh, you know. And, and the mind that I'm talking about is different than the brain that, that we're talking about it now. Mm -hmm. You know, the damage that happens to the brain also uh, because the brain seems to house the mind, um, even though it's maybe housed here as well. Or yeah. maybe it's not housed neither here nor here. Oh, and maybe it's not housed yes. neither. Yes, but it, it does seem that way, doesn't it? We yeah. bang it up, we feel it there. Mm -hmm. You know, or, or if I was to go out and get drunk, God forgive, forbid, you know, and I, in the next day I would feel the damages of that, or even from bad food. Yeah. You know, I, 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 get, I, I can get a meat hangover. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I know. But, and, uh, um, <laughs> it's a whole other topic. <laughs> a meat hangover. I, have, I don't remember those in a while. Yeah. It's been a while. I'm, I'm sure, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still. I would probably get one. Yeah, I'm sure you would. <laughs> but I, I have emotional hangovers and meat hangovers. And yeah, mm -hmm. and and uh, um, so yeah, I think uh, you know, it's hard to. Um, that, that many of us are trapped in in the, in our minds, in the sense of you know the mind is taken over and 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 it's. You know, but the possibility through meditation is to tap into that space, you know. And Hawkins talks about it a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, wow. And then everything is in the flow. You know, then we we think of something and it appears. You know, and it's just uh, that possibility is so there. And, and um, so, and uh, I mean, you already know that, don't you? You're a manifester. I we all are. But I think we all are. We yeah. just forgot. Yeah. Many of us are remembering. Yeah, so you've manifested an amazing partner. Mm hmm. Or did oh. she manifest you? I think it was a team effort, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> We're all alchemists of our lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. It's the love day. Yeah. Are you guys you got plans for tonight? I think yeah. we're going to yeah, do something in the evening. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do you live together? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And do you live close to the Hankster? We live no, together. We we have created a community house around Hank. Wow. To support his horse well, moving out of his parents' place. Kind oh, of thing. okay. So um, Hank's moved out? Yes. Wow. A whole year now. But, but I mean, Craig and June's place has always been a kind of a community house anyway. And, and yeah. so Hank's used to having lots of. He can't. Yeah. The. the the, uh, what do you call them? The Center for Disabilities, whatever. They've never seen a place like ours, and they've never, they asked one question like, is there too much, like, is he ever overwhelmed? We're like, no. Every day he's like, more plans? Are there more plans? Like, what are we doing today? <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. And how so. many live in the house? Well, right now there's only there's four, of four of us. We've had a maximum of seven because one of the bedrooms had a mom with a kid kind of thing. Wow. Yeah, but we're going to be five as soon as it hits first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get somebody else moving in. Mm -hmm. So it's like a community And everyone house who comes in Hank. generally mm -hmm. has already nice. worked with Hank in some capacity in the past. Wow. Mm -hmm. well, he's super blessed. He's super blessed. Do you have dinners? <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I, I, mm -hmm. I want to come. Yeah, yeah you're all please welcome. come. Yeah, yeah it'd be great to have you. I won't come unless free. you invite me. You have okay. to invite me. Pretty much all local. Actually, we, we all want to come. Perfect. Yes, please. <laughs> Everybody's welcome. Yeah. Yes, we'll have Hank, you love Hank. big meals. Have you met Hank? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Right now. Mm -hmm. He has kids. See. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I think, oh, no, he wasn't at the, at the Wolf Gathering. No, but he was at the Powers in the house. Yeah, I, That's right. I opened the door to you guys when you came. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, he's he's pretty awesome. I had been there and just left. Missed you. I'm sorry. He oh, gets geez, to yeah. meditate through dance all the time, and so do we because with him kind of thing. Yep. And in the vein of like kirtan mantra type of meditation, I think that's excellent access for everyone who's doesn't want to sit down while they're meditating necessarily and or sit down and well chanting is chant. <laughs> yeah it's good just that I had a teacher and he was a guy who had been many many years with Osho and mm. and, uh, and Osho has uh, you know an ecstatic meditation Osho does a lot of those types of meditation but but Paul um, basically uh, taught us to meditate um, to really there was no style it was to do nothing to mm. just sit Mm -hmm. And watch the thoughts, yes, you know, and and uh, and let them go because you know how they come and tag you, and, and want to take you away. And, you know, me, they, my thoughts are, are are all important, and and to themselves, and um, you know, but just let them go and just sit, and sit and sometimes sit for hours and just you know not be in the thoughts, but just to be conscious of the possibility of letting them go. And, and just to let them go, just let them go. And you know, and the, the longer I sit, the crazier sometimes they are. Mm -hmm. You know, um, oh my God, you know, the, I think the building's on fire. You know, whatever it'll do to get attention. And, and uh, but eventually, but there are other ways too, like the Cohen's, it, it, you know, uh, tell me who you are. Mm -hmm. that's, you know, th that's a nice way to, to, to jump past the mind. Have you done, never done um, like a Zen Cohen? I don't believe so. It sounds One familiar. One hand clapping. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. What would you call it? One hand clapping. What is the sound of one hand clapping? Yes. Yeah, so that was the classic one. Yeah, or, or tell me who you are. Tell mm -hmm. me. And we would ask the question a thousand times. Mm -hmm. Tell me who you are. Not and that's are. just in our mind. Well, the, the question for hours. Same mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. That's what related to the Gnostic stuff. Mm -hmm. You're talking. Uh, uh, Oh yeah, oh man, what's the word? Anyway, I'll think of it. <laughs> yeah. Diet. Yes, diet. Yeah, that's exactly. Specific, but yep. you don't have to do it in a diet. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and and uh, and it can can uh, eventually the mind will will. <laughs> you take fall. out the story and the garbage. Yeah. 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 The mind will fall over and mm -hmm. say, "Okay, I give up," and and then you can have we can have the moment of of bliss. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, so there's there's that, but just to sit. You know, and and breathe, and even focusing on the breath, um, even though it brings us into the moment, it gives the mind something to do. You know, and so we're in the mind if we're focusing on the breath. And, and uh, um, I'm, I don't know, maybe I've, I'm a bit of a purist uh, around you know that rather than getting into techniques. And so, but with did, did I tell you my vision? You mentioned something earlier, yeah. Uh, um, so it's actually, um, James has d told me today in no uncertain terms that it's not my vision anymore, and it's not his vision, and it's not Kat's vision, it's just the vision. Cool. And, and uh, um, so the vision existed before I became aware of it, mm. and and, uh, and I become aware of it, and it's kind of possessed me, and, and really, it, it, uh, it this is the, the cornerstone Kind of is a is a meditation stool, and, th and they may change some. The next ones we're going to order are going to be maybe a little bit different, but they they're made from teak, so they last forever. Mm. You know, like you, if you have children, one day they'll be fighting over dad's meditation stool, and and uh, because it'll be imagine the energy that'll be in it after you've sat on it for eighty years. Jeez, one hundred and eighty. One hundred and eighty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're quick. That's <laughs> awesome. And uh, um, so that's uh, the vision. But but imagine. Like a, a a meditation space in every home, so that's that's the vision. Mm -hmm. A space in every home, just like today. Uh, how many homes have an in-home office? Many, many, many homes have an in-home office. That, that would be unthinkable, like thirty years ago. We just, you know, you, why would anybody want an in-home office? You know, but it's 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 all, it's standard, or an in-home gym of some sort, a place to a workout room. And, and uh, so I see that as a standard. That it, it gets, it's part of you know the design of homes even coming up. That where 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 do you want to have your meditation space? So this is the cornerstone of it, and then from there, you know, maybe a, an altar. It might look different than that, but that was our first one prototype, and, and we made five hundred of these to start with, 
And uh, but imagine this it's just there's millions and millions of people who you know in the West who don't really have a consciousness room. You know, uh, like in the East, uh, you know, they have prayer rooms. You know, most homes have a, a temple or a prayer space. And, and, um, and I think that, that we're missing that. Mm -hmm. And, and um, so that's mm -hmm. uh, the vision. And, and so you're part of it now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's very, I think that's very important. I think it's very beautiful, you know, and as far as I know, all northern and southern Native Americans have always had a sacred space. Yes. And they they usually have an altar as well. Mm -hmm. It's ingrained into many, many cultures. Yes. I think it's just our society that has shied away from that over the years. Yes. And it's it's all to do with our values. Well, it is about values, and it's also some of us have moved away from traditional religion. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it, that uh, in a, a generation ago or two, that if you were a devout Catholic, you had a you did have a, a little altar or temple, you know. But a lot of that's just gone by the wayside and been replaced by a television, and and uh, the altar of the TV, and, mm. and uh, um, so so I think we're just coming back to something. You're right, you know. It's always been there, and and many cultures and, and have had that. And um, so your family was is was your roots are. are or Asian, but uh, where? Uh, my dad's side is Chinese. My mom's side is Indonesian. Oh, mm -hmm. wow! Have yeah. you been to Indonesia? Yes, I f I got to go when I was a little kid, and I got to return just this past year. Wow! Yeah, for graduating, it was perfect. My cousin got married. In in mm -hmm. in Indonesia. Yeah, my yeah. my mom's parents fled after the revolution, after yes. the Second World War, and and they just had it. my mom's an only child. So yeah. like, they've passed. It's just my mom and I on her side in mm -hmm. Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most people were all back in Indonesia. In uh, where? Hmm, everywhere, mostly in Java, somewhere. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm in Java a lot. I, mm -hmm. I love Java, Java, yeah. Java. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends. My mom is from Bandung. Really? Yes. Nice. Which apparently was this tiny little village because she's told all these stories about how she walked home from school and she was, sounds like she was four. And we went to that place and we did that route from her actual old school to her actual old house this trip. I'm like, this is downtown city now. This is not children friendly. <laughs> like no, but it would have been then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently. Yeah. It would have just been sort of like countryish. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> I, I've actually, um, the history of Indonesia I'm very interested in. And, and you know, and during the, uh, the Dutch, of course, were colonized <laughs> for, for 300 years. And, yep. and and the Japanese at the Second World War were were very rough yep. on on the Indonesians and the Dutch, you know. Right. And many families got interned and labor camps and all of that kind of stuff. And and mm -hmm. uh, and then after the war, the Dutch wanted to come back, and it didn't it didn't work out. Indonesia be started to become independent, and you know, it became what it is today. Yep. And it, it's a beautiful country. My grandparents were teachers. My grandfather, because he's a man, automatically, as a civil servant, got kind of like conscripted into the army, even though you have no idea what you're doing. Mm -hmm. He got, yeah, helped burn down their own um, stockyard, like warehouses mm -hmm. off the ports so that the Japanese couldn't have access to mm -hmm. there, and then got, th like, tried to flee, got thrown into internment camp. Yeah. Suffered like gut problems for the rest of his life from that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a tough, tough time. Mm -hmm. But it's still like the colonial Dutch, which does not sound like actual Dutch, is pr arguably my first language. If is I don't it? Speak it anymore. Yeah. yeah. But it's just yeah. I grew up with my grandparents. So uh, most of my Indonesian friends and their parents and who, uh, um, w you know, have no animosity towards the Dutch. No. But uh, Best they place to get Indonesian food. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. st they're still pissed at the Japanese though. <laughs> <laughs> that that was my experience. That, that that that's taken a couple of generations to move through. That you know, because it was a tough, tough go. But his, the, the, you know, they have to go back. And if we all meditate, you never will. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my other thing. Is I think that you know, um, focusing on a problem um, makes the problem bigger. Focusing mm -hmm. on a solution, which is like a higher vibration, makes mm -hmm. the problem disappear.
mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, so as we lift up in the, in the realms of, of uh, consciousness, the things that we were worried about um, evaporate. Mm -hmm. and, and so yeah, if we have a culture that, that is evolved into, um, into consciousness through meditation, through lifelong learning, through service, um, through gratitude, those are kind of my four pillars. Um, that can make a huge difference. So, anyway, sorry, to, I I, I uh, um, kind of run on a bit about it, but I love what you're doing. What's this? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Yeah, so this yeah. is the second wave <laughs> of Mountain <laughs> Mystics. Yes. I also wanted to point out this is the o all this is the new labels. Yep. These are the old original label. The jingle sauce is the last mm -hmm. remaining tissue. That That's is actually Mateus, Mateus, the other oh. business partner. Yeah. And if we had an old pesto, we might have the old label of the there. pesto. Yeah. But we do. Then yeah. this is. Look, glasses magically appeared. <laughs> <laughs> that one. That's one. There. This is, is the Venus. pesto. Nice. Yeah. Show it to the pesto. But expect it these to look like these now. Okay. This is actually Not yet, cashew but cheese. <laughs> so um, we can put this on some form of uh, of. Um, um, like spaghetti or, or uh, yeah. Like yeah, on any type of pasta. Pasta, that's the word I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I actually, normally the way that I use it is I just put it on like toast. Wow. Yeah, or anything of that nature. Dip uh, yeah. tortillas in it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll dip my tortillas in it. With the Recently at the um, event that uh, you were mentioning earlier, one that I didn't go to, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. we put it in mushroom caps. We stuffed them with uh, both the pesto and the cashew cheese. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. so this is a fermented, uh, it's cultured, it's organic cashews. and Good fats. Been, oh, great fats. Mm -hmm. And yeah. probiotic. And oh. probiotic. He said, well, uh, you're going to have to leave all this stuff here, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have lots. Yeah, so well. we have four flavors of the cashew cheese. Yes. And this one is the black pepper one. Mm -hmm. And it's called I Am Bold. So they all have affirmations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you can say your affirmation as you take the product and mm -hmm. embody that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, um, oh, and then we have the uh, sauerkraut as well. So we there's have... a couple of kinds, but this is the one we brought today. Yeah, we have four different types. Actually, I think there's another one in there. This one is a turmeric cauliflower kraut. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is it quite tart? Uh, it's a little bit astringent, but not super tart. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're all delicious. <laughs> Mm -hmm. one called? And this one is called I Am Wise. Yes. Nice. Yeah, and then um, this one is called I Am Powerful. So this is the salsa kraut. Mm -hmm. It basically has all the salsa ingredients mm -hmm. as well as sauerkraut ingredients, and then we ferment it all together. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a kimchi, and we have a purple kraut with beets and red cabbage, purple cabbage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What an adventure. Yes. What an entrepreneurial adventure. Yes, it's been, a, it's been a lot of fun. If we were going to have a bit of kombucha, which one would you open? The one I shook? The pink ash. <laughs> the pink ash no. no, I think <laughs> I'd probably open that one, yeah. This one could be fun. That's the one I shook now. It's been a while. Should it be okay now? Oh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, let's find out. Stand back, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like champagne, if anything. Do you oh. want to reveal your secret trick? I do have a trick. If you, like, just shake it. Yeah. Right, and then suddenly you 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 want to open it right away, but you, you're afraid that you it's going to blow. Gonna be very yeah. active, or you mm -hmm. discover one's been somewhere that left out of the fridge for too long. And you're yeah, not sure. I actually I had a, a customer several years ago at the Canmore Market, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and her roommate found one of the original bottles of another flavor called the Bog Monster that she had purchased the year before mm -hmm. in her fridge. Mm -hmm. And she brought it to me and she said, I don't know if this is still good. Mm -hmm. And so what I did is I, I had a bowl and I placed it over top of the bowl. And then I just put like a plastic bag over it. Mm -hmm. So then when you open it, mm -hmm. if it, you know, if it's very, very effervescent, mm -hmm. then it just, it all shot into the bag and rained into the bowl. Nice. So that's, that's a, a trick that anyone can, can use. Um, I used to do with a towel. Yeah, but then then you lose it exactly. Mm -hmm. So this way you still get to enjoy mm -hmm. all of the mm -hmm. bacteria yeah. in there. That's good even though we're not in love with plastic. Exactly, <laughs> we're not in love with plastic, and yeah. these are plastic lids right now that we have. We have a lot of them to go through, but we were originally using like a metal lid, and yes. we want to go back to that one. Yes. Um, so anyway, let's find out. Let's see how. 
think it should be too bad. All right. No, we will not. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it had sat for a while, so it was good. You guys, there's not enough cups. Well, Why don't you guys yeah. come in? Why don't they come in? Because we know what it tastes like. Yeah. yeah. And then... Well, they can maybe, they'll join James us. has to put his hands back on. James, put your <laughs> pants on and, and, and come sit with us for a minute and have um, a little bit of kombucha. C can you be seen there? I don't, can you, I don't, we want you to be seen. Perfect. How's that look? Yeah. yeah. So we're all going to have a little hit of kombucha. Come on in, hun. Wow. Yep. This is Kat and James joining the party. <laughs> and uh, that one there with a the little bit left. And it looks like it was just enough for everyone. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. Here's to your success, your health, your love on Valentine's Day. Mm. Salud. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Salud. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Mm -hmm. Just a family. Mm. Wow. That is, ah. Mm. I love it. Thank you. Not everybody can make a tasty sweet base type thingy that has turmeric. Mm. I love everybody turmeric. Everybody who's tried to throw too much turmeric into their breakfast smoothie should be a test I'm a, <laughs> I'm a turmeric addict. <laughs> I love turmeric also. It's mm -hmm. so good for the brain mm -hmm. because it's like the anti-inflammatory. Anti yeah, it's the best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thanks. Are you leaving us, James? <laughs> so um, we're going to put your links for you know, like where people can buy your product. We'll put it on this. So people can see it, and, and you know, and and um, you know, and, and then maybe you can share it. And Mateus can share it, and and uh, there's another partner. What's your name? Teresa. Teresa. Teresa yeah. can share it. I, mm -hmm. I look forward to Matea. It's a it's a Hindu name, really, isn't it? Uh, Mateus. I think it's uh, his name is actually. I believe he told me Polish, maybe. Oh, really? Oh, geez, I don't remember. Okay. That Concussion has affected my memory somewhat. <laughs> Mateus, we want you to make a note. Uh, you, I think your name is pretty interesting. And, and uh, where did that come from? And, and uh, I, I thought it was what, what, like a, a Hindu god or something. But um, mm. and maybe I'm, 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 I could be wrong. Could be mistaken. So thank you guys for coming in. Love you. you. I appreciate what you're doing. Mm -hmm. and, and Love you too. Yeah. And appreciate all of this. Absolutely. Yeah. Fun. Mm -hmm. and, and we wish you. Amazing success as entrepreneurs, and and, and uh, I can't come wait to come and have dinner with you guys and Hank. Mm. Awesome, yeah. Mm. I'll be happy Me to too. see you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> love you guys. So follow us on uh, YouTube. Eh? We'd love it if you subscribe on YouTube. Check out our website, all that kind of stuff. And uh, uh, Earl's going to put a link on there for our Patreon as well. Okay, cheers. Love you.